Alright, so one of the things that I didn't do when I was grinding the spindexer's sides was take into consideration indicating in the spindle. <clears throat> um, and you know, obviously for accuracy you need to do that or grinding this would be all for naught. So what I did was I mounted up a tense indicator. I got my Starrett tense indicator mounted up on a height gauge and I mounted it on the height gauge instead of a, a surface gauge because you have this fine adjustment here and if you know anything about these tense indicators I mean you breathe on them and they move so they're very very sensitive and the slightest little movement throws them all around so they're they're kind of difficult to work with um, <clears throat> so another thing that I didn't have was I didn't have a mount to mount my indicator to here uh, so I had to make one and I'll include a little bit of brief footage for that um, so anyway mounted this guy up and what I did was I started to sweep here and I got this dialed in pretty well um, I'll bring the camera in to, to give you a better view but it took a long time you know it's uh, it's something that that takes a little finagling to get it right you know get it dialed right in so let me show you let me show you what we got so this took a little time to to dial in like I said and um, really what I've just been doing is I just been sweeping it up so we got zero reading there and then I just move this and I'm, I'm moving the whole unit I got this I got the base mounted in a toolmaker's vise so it's real solid <clears throat> I got my granite cleaned and I'm, not, I'm trying to not move the indicator or the stand that it's on and I just come in and I just gently sweep in so we're, we're we got it dialed into the to a tenth now and I'll give you some close-ups alright we're gonna we're gonna sweep one end now and we're gonna get it take a reading and there you go the high spot is at zero now I'm pulling it out, I'm sliding it, I'm going to the other side, the spindle, and we're moving it in very gently. And we've hit zero, and then it comes out. So we got this dialed in now to a tenth. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this on the surface grinder and clean this edge off. Feeding down now, one thousandth at a time.
Now I'm going to do a half a thousand. That's nice. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stone the sides of this, just the edges, just to uh, break any burrs. So we got the grinding done now. And one of the things I want to do is I want to check to make sure it didn't move while I was grinding it. So we're going to reinstall our spindle. We're going to check that. Now I know this is a this is a white faced indicator and it's hard to read so you're going to just have to trust me as I call these numbers out. All right. This is now reading about a half a thousandth high. I don't know if the if that's uh if it moved or what, but let's see. Hmm. We got <clears throat> we got two tenths here. Oh, alright. We got well, we got three tenths on this side. and two tenths on the other side. Now I have a, se a sneaking suspicion that when you turn you know when you turn the uh, the spindle you get some inconsistencies in the spindle as well. See now that's reading two thousandths, uh, two tenths, I'm sorry, and two tenths. Alright so it's safe to say this didn't move. Now what I want to do is I want to check across the top here and make sure that this is parallel. So what we'll do is we will move this guy out a little bit. Make sure that's showing up. <clears throat> Don't do what I just did and come slamming down your indicator. Lock that. Well, in any case, I'm, I'm trying to get it as close to zero as possible. It's that it takes some skill, but what we're trying to see is that it stays straight on any number that it's at. So we're re you know we were reading between zero and a tenth. You know, looks like just under a tenth. You know, there is a little backlash in the indicator itself. I would call that really not moving at all. <clears throat> Alright, safe to say that this side now is perfect. What I'll do now, you know what, before I, before I move this out, let me show you how I have it rigged up here. Now just like squaring up a block on a mill, this paint is thick and this casting isn't the same thickness all the way through. This, this actually, um, as it tapers towards the end, it gets thinner. So what I did was, I'll show you on this side, I just used this piece of um, thick copper wire and that, what that does is it crushes and it, it um, compensates for the inconsistencies. So we have the nice surface ground flat edge against our fixed jaw. So now that we know that this is parallel with the spindle, I can flip this around and put it right directly to the vise, uh, retighten it up We'll check it for parallelism, and then we're going to grind the other side. 
One of the things I had to do was I had to remove this screw and put a, uh, a hex head because I couldn't get in there with an Allen. Another thing I want to do is I really want to wipe this down. Make sure everything is completely free of any kind of grinding dust. Slide this puppy on there. Let me do this. Let me get rid of everything that I don't need on this table. I got to do like you, Stan. I need a, a two by four, uh, a two by three. Right now, this is an 18 inch by 24 inch, and it's sufficient to do work. But man, you got to keep it clean and free of anything that you're not using. Pressing down on this rag to clean out the jaws and <clears throat> all right. So this is the fresh ground side. Now that's going to go down, and we're going to put the painted side towards the movable jaw. And an easy way to do that is to turn this guy right on its side. Stick in our. Well, hmm, it's not going to fit. Um, I'm going to try something. I'm going to put this on the mag chuck, just like this, and maybe I'll support this with an adjustable parallel. Let me figure something out. Stand by. Well, here's how I have this rigged up now. All right, so this didn't fit in here. The, the bottom, the nice freshly ground side wouldn't make contact with the bottom of the vise. It was, it was hitting up here. So I had to figure something out. So I have these 90s here, but they don't have, um, they don't have screw holes here, right? I wanted to bolt this in and there's some holes here, but if you'll notice, the hole, okay, it's not going to fit in here. It's a little bit tall, so play it around, and I have this um, up against the bottom, and I have it clamped, and I, you know, I'm, I'm feeling the bottom here, and it, it, you can't even feel the two where they meet, and um, and I think that's going to work out just just right for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this onto the surface grinder and we're going to grind this side now. Now I had it mounted this way because this curved part was hitting the fence here so it's fine. We'll just grind it that way. Alright, let me get my breathing protection on and we'll get the show on the road. Very nice. Let's go bring this back to the inspection table and we'll take a look and see how good it came out.
use my hand here to feel. You can feel so much stuff that the rag leaves behind. Never trust the rag. All right. So we're fluctuating a tenth. I think that's pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclamp this. And I'm just going to hold this against here. And we're going to just check it for parallel on both sides. Let me clean this up. First with the rag, then with this. Clean all this off. Now, this is going to, this is going to sink down a little. clean off my right angle box. So I'm just going to hold this, like I said, just up against it. Okay. We have, let's see where we're at. We're at about one tenth past. And it's fluctuating by a tenth. Coming back. All right, so that's that, right? And we'll flip it over. same thing we're going to hold this tight against the 90 degree and we'll see look at that there's one so it looks like it's moving the one tenth all right you know what uh, I mean if it's if it's out of tenth um I gotta say I'm happy with that. And now let's put the spindle in and we're gonna see how she is the bottom. Let's see how good this comes ground from China. Alright, let's uh, move this down. Come on China. in there. Jeez. Well, I wouldn't call that backlash. I just wasn't on the high spot. Oh, look at that. All right. So, luckily we've landed on the zero the zero. Now, we'll flip her around. Four tenths off. Let's move in a little bit. The best reading I'm getting there now is two and a half tenths off. Now I just wonder if this, as we get closer to this collar, if it if it's tapered or something like that, because. I get this as close to this part of the casting and read the high spot. Yeah, we're, man, we're back at four tenths again. No, wait. No, there's three tenths. And back at the zero. Let's measure in a little bit. Zero. four tenths, three tenths, hmm, 